Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. So if you're here watching this video today, you're probably wondering how do they celebrate Christmas in China? Do they celebrate it? Is it, is it acceptable? What can you expect from your classes? What can you expect from your students? Um, you may have already actually seen some of this because I probably should have made this video a week ago. <laughs> but today I wanted to just talk to you about traditions in China regarding the holidays. So here we go. And welcome to my channel, Once Upon a Time Fitness, where we talk about everything from how to make money, how to save money, how to get fit in different ways, both financially, physically, emotionally, however it may be. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up on this video and let's get started. So you're probably wondering, first of all, before I get into this, if I wore a green very obviously green sweater into class today and the answer is no I did not I wish I could have though this shirt is just so 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 soft and um, I got it from Amazon and then I actually this is the second one I got because this is the softest sweater I've ever owned and I have two of them and they're really really cute but anyways no I didn't wear it um, I didn't wear this super super adorable ugly Christmas sweater to class today because it's not blue. I will definitely have to buy a blue one for next year, but they're hard to come by, so <laughs> it just didn't happen. I've got a year to find one though, right? So Christmas in China. The first question that a lot of people ask are, do the kids know what Christmas is? Yes, they do. The kids know what Christmas is. Um, a lot of the kids actually celebrate Christmas in their own ways. As the years go on, it's getting more and more popular to celebrate Western holidays such as Christmas, and they do. They celebrate it a little bit differently though. So in America, and I can't speak for other countries because I live in America, but in America, they typically celebrate Christmas with friends and families getting together. We have the Santa Claus tradition. We usually have like a big Christmas breakfast with our family and then like a big Christmas dinner with like our bigger family. Um, a lot of people might bounce around to different dinners all in one day or do Christmas Eve here and Christmas here. Like Christmas is a very busy thing. There's a lot of wrapping things. There's a lot of shopping. It's a very, 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 very hectic holiday. A lot of people wait until the last minute comment below if you're one of those people <laughs> let me see my people <laughs> you last-minute rappers you um, it's a very expensive holiday in America we go all out we put big blow-up decorations on our porches or lights on our houses and you know you can drive through the countryside and see like all of the beautiful or the city whatever and see like all of the beautiful decorations that people put on their houses some communities will have um you know some communities will have like competitions to see whose house is lit up most so christmas in china is not like that at all when you go to the big cities they will decorate for christmas um a lot of the schools might have a christmas tree um a lot of your houses will have Christmas trees. Now the, the houses, the students' Christmas trees are probably about the size of the tree that I have here. Sometimes a little bit bigger. Sometimes the Christmas trees will be like, you know, will be like maybe like this big or maybe like this tall from the ground. Um, you know, you, you'll have Christmas trees that are decorated, some Christmas trees that are not. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I've seen real Christmas trees or not. I think mostly I've only seen um, fake Christmas trees from my students. Um, they decorate them pretty much the same that we do. The same way that we do, they'll decorate them with ornaments um, and lights if they do decorate them. Their Christmas trees are, um, they're just, they're a lot smaller and not all houses have them. Some will say, oh yes, we have a Christmas tree, but it's not here, it's at my grandma's. Where, you know, in America, there's a Christmas tree in every house. It's pretty much a tradition, um, usually whether you're Christian or not. And it's different in China. Um, gift giving. 
that depends on the family. Some of the children in China do celebrate Christmas. The vast majority, I would say, do not, but you will come across students that celebrated Christmas. And the most popular gift in China for Christmas is, and my kids would be so mad, my kids would be so mad if they got this for Christmas, but the most popular gift for Christmas is an apple. Um, I had a little boy today that showed me his stocking, he emptied out his stocking, and he had an apple, an orange, and some candy in his stocking. So it's very basic gifts. Um, they'll gift food, fruit, apples. Apples are like super, 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 super popular as a Christmas gift in China. And they will be big apples. Sometimes they'll have like a stamp on them or some sort of like little, it will look like a little embossed gold emblem. I'm not sure what it says, but sometimes you'll have like really decorated apples. Um, they usually come, if you see a student pull out a box, it's usually a box that looks like this, and it has like a three-dimensional heart on it. So like a cardboard that goes here and then here that makes a little heart at the top of the box. That has an apple in it. That is an apple box that they give to people for Christmas. Um, the kids are usually really excited to show it to you. So, um, yeah, that's what that's what it is if they're going to show it to you. Um, as far as Santa, I don't think I've run across any kids that believe in Santa. <laughs> Not in China. Um, they will have... Um, they do have Santa things sometimes. Sometimes they know who Santa is, and I know in Beijing there is a, um, and that's probably in some of the other cities too. There is a Santa Claus that goes to the town square or whatever it might be, and everybody comes in and Santa will hand out apples to the kids um, as gifts. I. I don't think they do the whole sitting on Santa's lap thing, but they do have the chance to like go and see Santa in some of the bigger cities. Um, they understand most of the traditions that we have for Christmas. They celebrate some of the traditions. <clears throat> it's much smaller. They don't get together with family like we do on Christmas. They don't go to church on Christmas. They don't, um, they don't have like a big dinner like we do for like Christmas and Thanksgiving. They do not do that for Christmas. It's just a very basic, small gift giving holiday. Um, that not all, that not all of China celebrates. Um, you will also have, um, children that sing the songs. The majority of the children know most of the Christmas songs. So they know we wish you a Merry Christmas. Most of like the really like really popular ones that you'll think about little kids knowing. They'll know we wish you a Merry Christmas. They'll know Jingle Bells. They'll know, um, they usually do not know Rudolph. <laughs> um, I actually do not think I've met a single kid that knows the Rudolph song. Um, and most of them don't know who Rudolph is. That's not like a big thing there. They, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So Christmas, they don't they don't have off of school. Actually, I think their Christmas present for school, instead of getting days off of school, they get tests. So Christmas is usually the week, like the week before Christmas or the week of Christmas. Our children in China are actually taking really big tests. And it, some, it sometimes goes into January too. Um, and these are basically like midterm exams. They're very important for their grades. You might see your schedule drop a little bit because of it. Um, but on the other hand, there's going to be a lot of teachers who aren't teaching classes, so you might get some other students that move in there because they need a teacher for this week. So your schedule can fluctuate a little bit during Christmas. Um, it can get very, very busy because a lot of teachers, you know, most of the teachers are from the Western countries and they celebrate Christmas so the majority of teachers do not want to teach on a holiday where they should be spending with their family so you will get a lot of opportunities to teach classes usually around this holiday because it's celebrated here but not so much in China and after Christmas is done um, Chinese New Year is 
the really big holiday in China that's coming a little bit earlier this year. It's coming at the end of January. So once the kids are finished with their exams and maybe they'll go back to school for a week or two, depending on when their last exam is. I have students that have exams and then in like at the end of January. So their exams go all the way to the end of January. And then at the end of January, they um, go off for break as soon as their exams are over. Chinese New Year is a little bit different. We'll get into that in another video. That's their big holiday. Our big holiday is Christmas. Yes, they know what it is. Yes, they do celebrate it, but it's celebrated much, 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 much differently than we celebrate our holidays. They do understand our holiday celebrations and they love to show you how they celebrate too, if they do. Um, just make sure, obviously, be culturally sensitive when you're talking to them and don't be like, oh, you didn't get anything, you got an apple. You got an apple. Oh my God, you got an apple for Christmas? Like. Be sensitive when you're talking to them. Be respectful. Be excited for how they, you know, for how they for how they celebrate Christmas, and be excited that they're sharing it with you, if they choose to talk about it. Um, that is all I wanted to say. This sweater is so soft. Um, that's all I have to say about Christmas and how it's celebrated in China. It is a lot different, and obviously, what I'm saying might work for like one city, like a really big city like Beijing, but then you go over to like Western China and it might be completely different and they don't celebrate it at all. It really, really, really depends on your student, where they're from, what their family believes is okay, um, the norms of their community, a lot of that. A lot of it really depends, there's a lot of factors. but. It's not a foreign concept to them. They understand what um, they understand what Christmas is, and a lot of the practices do kind of flow into China, especially um, as time goes on. They adopt more and more Western traditions because because they like it. Really, that's why. So, yeah, that's all I had to say about Christmas. So I hope you guys have a very merry Christmas. I know I'm going to. Um, maybe I'll make a video telling you what I'm doing today. It's not Christmas related, but I have something really, really, really exciting happening today. If you've been following me on my channel, you might be able to guess what it is. Um, I haven't really given many hints though to anybody, so maybe I'll tell you later. All right, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Um, remember that there are double points for a lot of the slots going into New Year's, so if you are able to work, open those and take advantage of that. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic Christmas, a fantastic week, and make lots of pale fish money. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!